All right, guys, what's up? Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, I'm actually going to be bringing you guys this video. I just did a FOIA request on myself to the FBI uh, just to kind of see what they had. It's my very, very first one. So I'm doing this video for the individuals that are, you know, kind of getting into the law a little bit and kind of want to understand some stuff. If you're an auditor, uh, you got to, you know, kind of want to know how to get that information out there so that way you can make sure that you're safe uh, so like I said this is my first I just did one my very very first one uh, so I'm gonna walk you guys through how I'm gonna do it uh, and I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna re FOIA request the ATF that's who I'm gonna do uh, alcohol tobacco and firearms so here's how we do it I mean I clicked up here first you know to learn about it a little bit uh, it says what it is, how to make a request, so you don't have to click that, but I'm just going to show you what, you know, what I did. Um, and then I played this little video here, it's on YouTube. To get information on this lady, FOIA, typically you must make a FOIA request. Make a FOIA request, this is, a written so request. This is all the, the information you stuff, need. you don't need a specific form, you know, to make a request. Uh, and it did that to me earlier too, it stopped, but we're going to go on past that, so we're going to scoot on back. And then we're going to go create a request, type in the agency, I'm going to go alcohol, tobacco, tax trade, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives. Yeah, let's go there. So, uh, alcohol, tobacco, da, 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 agency mission. So it gives you guys like their mission statements and all that stuff. Um, the one for the FBI, it came up a little different than this. Uh, it came up like separate. I guess they've got their own. So... Uh, with these guys, uh, ATF here, uh, it looks like it's going to be 52 working days for a simple request. Looks like it's going to be 380 days for a complex request. So if you've got something huge you want to ask them, yeah, it's going to be, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to take a while. Damn near a year. No, over a year. Yeah, over a year. It's going to take over a year for a complex request. I wonder why that is. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll click start for your request. And then contact information. So this is the information needed so the agency knows where to send a response for your FOIA request. Please note that all of these fields are required. Okay. So contact information. So I'm going to go ahead and put my my, my stuff in, and then I'm, I'm going to blur it out. So but that way you guys put your stuff in here. Mine is auto-filled, so I can fill everything. And personal. Your organization. I don't want to. I want to know my organization. Personal. Okay, got all my I've got all my stuff in. City, state, blah blah blah. So here's your request. So the description of the records you're requesting is important. The scope of your request can impact how quickly agency can respond to your request. Description should be as clear and specific as possible. Must give agency FOIA personnel enough details so that they are able to reasonably determine exactly which records they are being requested and where to locate them. Well, I'll say this. I got in trouble quite some time back. It was back in 2004. So uh, I don't know how many numbers of agencies were at my house, but I'm betting these guys were there at least once in 2004. So I'm going to just write a brief description. So what I'm going to write, I am requesting anything and everything that you may have on me I'll put my name This includes pictures, videos, texts, audio. So basically, I don't know if I spelled that right. I am requesting anything that you have 
that involves me. No matter how small. Even if it's a text message. Even text messages. Okay, so that's basically what I want them to, to give me. Any information about me. I'm just going to request stuff about me. I want to see what they got. All right, if you are submitting a request for records on yourself, a first party request is use this tool to upload any required documentation to verify your identity. You can also use this tool to upload any documents that provide context uh, for your request, or you can uh, I'm not doing that. If you're seeking records about yourself, additional documentation is required to verify your identity. Oh, you can use this form to verify your identity. So what? Okay, I know what I can do. Now, I'll choose a fee. Okay, fees. So now there's a part with the fees. Uh, FOIA requests you do not involve. Most FOIA requests do not involve fees. However, if an agent forms there are fees associated with the request, you may request fee waiver. Under standard, you may request fee waiver anytime during the process of your request. Agents will grant a fee waiver when disclosure requests information to public internet interest because. Uh, what type of request are you? Please select the candidate that best fits you. There's a news meeting, commercial use requester, all other requester. Fee waiver, yes. Fee waiver justification, guys. So the reason I'm going to be requesting a fee, uh, I just lost my job today. Like I literally went to work and they're like, hey man, your services are no longer required. I'm a temp. I was a temp. And they're just saying, hey, we didn't have enough work for all the temps, so we had to let some of them go, and I happen to be one of them. So I am now unemployed. I'll be looking for some work tomorrow, so hopefully I can find some, some work. But uh, that's what I'm going to put. I am currently unemployed as of today. As of today. So finances will be a problem. Okay, so the amount of money you're willing to pay in fees, if any, there's no initial fee required to submit a FOIA request, but the FOIA does allow people to charge certain types of fees and start certain instances. I'll say a dollar. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put one. One dollar. Uh, agencies generally request on a first but first out basis. Most agencies. Uh, separate tracks across simple and complex requests or circumstances. And I know they're not going to be emailing this to me, guys. They actually mail this to you. Like, uh, you'll get a hard copy in the mail. So, the standard of the expediting request out of FOIA regulations, federal agency under FOIA requests may qualify for expediting process. They demonstrate compelling need. And, I mean, I don't need it to be expedited. They can just send it to me. I mean, just whatever. Uh, leave this blank if you are not requesting expedited processing. Okay, so review and submit. Please review the information you have entered above before submitting to an agency. You should hear from the agency within coming weeks. If you do not hear from the agency, please reach out using the contact information provided to you on this site. Okay, and I don't know what contact information. Maybe, oh, that's this right here, guys. So that's if they don't come back. If, like, you know, they don't get back with you, we will be emailing national.foiaportal.usdoj.gov. And those guys are located in New York. So, um, at this point, I mean, everything's good. I'm only going to be paying a dollar. As I told them, I'm currently unemployed as of today, so my finances are going to be a problem. Please waive my fee. Uh, and then this drop down box, I mean, it's not commercial use. Uh, non-commercial scientific that's not me it's not an education institution I'm not and I'm I guess I mean I'm a representative of the news media free free press you know First Amendment and whatnot but I'm gonna go all other requesters so I'm gonna leave it at that do, 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 do. and then I, I put my I sent them my 107 certified my 107 license my pilot license that's what I sent them instead of my ID because I don't have a picture of my ID on my computer what is all this stuff on the side? Persons, tips are submitting. The person to reach out to you about your FOIA request 
Service Center, Daryl Webb or Johnny Rosner. Those are public liaisons. That's for the ATF. You can ask for personal information, anything related to your request, uh, including if uh, what you're asking for is clear. You can follow a request, maybe, blah, blah, blah. So just a little bit of help. So uh, I'm going to basically all my information, guys, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get it out of there. But so we're going to go down and we're going to hit submit. Just leave it at one. And now it is a hundred percent uploaded so I could print this page if I wanted um, but I'm not gonna print it because I don't waste my ink you'll hear back from the agency confirm a receipt in the coming weeks contact information provided feel free to reach out and there guys is the contact information for your request service center that's a phone number you need mr. Daryl Webb and Johnny Rosner those are the public liaisons uh, and I did that request July 18 2019 and there is my for your request number, confirmation ID, and all my contact information, blah, blah, blah. But guys, thank you for watching. Um, if I hope this helped. Hey guys, so I did get a response from the ATF about my FOIA request. Apparently, I used the wrong identification. Uh, 107 wasn't going to work. So I had to fill out a form. They emailed me a form that I filled out, and I'll put that up on the screen here in a second. But they emailed me this form, and I filled it out, and apparently now my FOIA quest would be all the way finished.